Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at setting up a self-hosted Bitwarden password vault using Docker. To get started, log into the device where we're going to install Docker. First, we'll use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to run Docker. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. Followed by another apt install to install Docker, Docker Compose, and Containerd. With the Docker packages installed, we'll make sure the Docker service is started and enabled. Add the current user to the Docker group. Then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. We're now ready to start creating containers. Before we continue with the Bitwarden installation, open a web browser and navigate to bitwarden.com host. Input an email address, then click the Submit button to generate an installation ID and key that will be needed later in the process. Back in the terminal, we use the make dir command to create a working directory for Bitwarden to store its persistent data in. Then we'll create a Bitwarden Linux user. And add it to the Docker group. Next, we'll create a directory in opt called Bitwarden. Then we'll set permissions on the new directory, and set the owner to the Bitwarden user. Now we'll cd into our Bitwarden working directory. Then use the curl command to download the Bitwarden installation script. Using chmod we'll make the script executable. Then we'll run the script with the install flag. When prompted, enter the domain name that will be used to reach the Bitwarden instance. Choose if you'd like to use Let's Encrypt to generate SSL certificates. Then enter a database name to be used for this Bitwarden instance. When prompted, input the installation ID and key obtained earlier from the Bitwarden website. Then continue following the prompts to complete the Bitwarden setup. After the installation completes, We'll edit the global override.m file using the nano editor. Update the SMTP email server settings. Then update the underscore admins value with an email address for an admin account. Save the changes and close out of nano. Now we'll execute the Bitwarden bash file with the restart flag for the changes to take effect. Once the restart completes, copy the URL from the console output and open it in the new browser tab. If you chose to use a self-signed certificate, step through the certificate warning. At the Bitwarden login screen, click the create account button. Complete the form by entering an email address, name, master password, and optionally a password hint. Then click Create Account. Back at the login screen, log in with the email address and password you just set. Welcome to your self-hosted Bitwarden, running containerized in Docker. After setting your user preference to the dark theme, click the send email button at the top right of the screen to verify your email account. Then navigate to your inbox and click the email address verification link. With the email address verified, we've unlocked all the available features in the free self-hosted Bitwarden offering. From here, you can use Bitwarden via the web interface or install the browser add-on. 